Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Okay, we have some Pinocchios. I have three of them, originally made by Bob Baker Marionette for the Disney Company. That's really cool. Be honest with me, have you ever sat around at night and played with them or anything? No. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my Pinocchio marionettes. I'd like to sell them today because they're taking up closet space. The least amount of money I'm willing to take for them is five grand, because that's what I got into them. I can honestly tell you I've never had a giant Pinocchio marionette brought in my store ever. Okay. And there's one thing in this world that's collectible, it's Disney stuff. These are just like perfect, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're all handcrafted. Yeah. Um, Pinocchio is one of Disney's most iconic figures. Pinocchio wanted to be a real boy, not made out of wood. And one of the things about it was, if he ever lied, his nose grew. Um, Disney didn't come up with a story. It's a much older story that was adapted for the film. Walt Disney released his first full-length animated movie back in 1937. He was the first one to realize animated films could make tons of money, and you could convert the characters into merchandise and make a lot more. <laughs> How do they work? Well, let me show you here real quick. Most of these have been sitting in the boxes in my closet. Of course, there you do your little walk and your hand thing. I don't know, I'm not a puppeteer. It looks like a rap star or something walking around with his pants sagging. This is the best I can do with it. You sure these are yours, dude? Because you have no idea how to use that tool. Uh, they're mine. <laughs> Disney is one of the most collectible brands in the world, and collectors are extremely passionate about it. So I know there's plenty of potential buyers for these. What I don't know is how much they're actually worth. So what did you want to do with these things? Well, I want to sell them. OK, how much did you want for them? Well, corresponding with email through Bob Baker Marionettes, they're saying that these things are worth 10000 to 100000 Wow, that's a spread, I would say. You know what? These things might be worth a lot of money. You know, I don't know if these things pop up once every five years or once a month. So I got a buddy who knows all about these things. You mind if I call him up and get him down here to take a look at them? No, that's fine. All right, let me give him a call. All right, sir. I'm excited they have an expert coming in, because I think he'll know the true value of these things, because they are very collectible. What do you think? You really get some different stuff here, man. I own Toy Shack right here in downtown Las Vegas. I took up toys as a hobby as a young kid and, and been doing it my whole life. Basically, what we have here is some life-size Pinocchio marionettes. Bob Baker was commissioned to make these pieces. Who exactly was Bob Baker? He's the go-to guy, basically, for puppets. He's created over 3,000 puppets, I believe. Whoa, that is neat. This is an exact replica of what the animators would have used back in the late 30s to animate for the movie. So that there would have been a puppeteer moving around Pinocchio, and then the artist would have been around drawing it, so that way they would have been all on the same page. These aren't the puppets they would have used in the late 30s, but these are an exact replica of what the animators would have seen or used to create the movie of Pinocchio. So what are your concerns, Rick, about the pieces? Um, basically what they're worth, and um, have you seen a lot of them? They pop up a lot? Very, very rarely. I mean, you see the smaller pieces, but you don't see the life-size Pinocchios. These are some really neat pieces. OK, so everything about them is legit. These came out of the Bob Baker studio. Do you have some paperwork, too? For one of them, number 55, yeah. OK. Well, it's 100% that these are licensed pieces. I would put a value on each piece. About 6000 a piece. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of money. All right, thanks, man. You're the best. No problem. Appreciate it, Jimmy. All right, so how much do you want for them? Why don't we start at 18? No. If you had your own store, you could maybe get 6000 a piece for them after a while. Do you got a realistic number? Uh, you know, 14000 There's no way. Your average working person doesn't spend this kind of money for something that looks cute in the corner of a room. It's going to take a while to sell them. I'll give you nine grand for them. These are unique. You don't only come across these originals ever so often. Would you do 10? <laughs> What do you think? 9,000 sounds a lot better than 10. How about 95? That's cash. I think we got a deal. All right, deal. You want to write them up? Yeah, come with me, man. I feel good about 9,500. I got some money in my pocket now, and I'm very happy to get rid of these things. My idiot son thinks he knows everything. But a lot of the stuff he's buying is not selling. 
like the damn Pinocchio dolls. Now I have to take matters in my own hands. How do you like Pinocchio, sir? I do like it. What's the price tag on Pinocchio today? Well, Pinocchio is $6,000. That's a little steep for me. I don't know why my son bought it to start with, but I got to sell the damn thing. Who'd you buy it from, do you know? Huh? You know? I have no idea. You want to buy this, young lady? Uh-huh. No. Hey, anybody want to buy this damn thing? <laughs>